All right. Uh, we've made it to Thursday. The 18th. I believe it's Thursday, the 18th. But I'll have to look at my calendar. Nah. Okay. Um, it's about noon. Thereabouts. Uh, we decided to get out here and warm the place up earlier this morning. I got the uh, I got the uh, Philco cabinet out on the bench, out on the big bench in the Casbah, and uh, doing a little touch-up work to it and getting it ready for the next step. So, um, what we're going to do is. We've already put the lamps on the uh, 529 chassis. And we're going to start with the uh, with the tone control hookups and get those tied in. Um, I've got the wafer boards mounted on their respective mounts. And... Uh, this is like, this is how they will go on. This on the left side, this on the right side as you're looking at it. So that would make this one here the bass side and this one over here the treble side. So with that, and we got the board mounted up on this thing. If you look at this diagram here that I sketched out, We've got a gray that comes up here to the second lug right here, to the second one right there. A gray that comes up and then it jumpers and goes up here to the top one. So these two are joined together and the gray comes off here and goes in with the rest of the wiring. The second one here is shorted together. That's these two right here. This second one and that third one are shorted together and the blue is going to come off of that one. The next one down would be the fourth one. This one here. That will be a red one. And then the one at the bottom is going to be the, the yellow. So that's going to be it for that side. This side over here, if you turn it, turn it looking this way, the, uh, the top one is going to be a brown. This will be your treble. The next one is going to be a green that is going to tie from here to the second one here. We'll have a green that comes up here and ties and links these two together. And off of this one down here, a green lead will come off and go to the chassis. The third one down is going to have a white. So the white wire, which is the one in the shielding, will go on to that one. The next one is going to be a gray number four here that will be a gray one that comes off and goes to the chassis we already covered the green one and the last one at the bottom down here is going to be an orange that's going to be for your voice so that's what we're going to do with these next uh, since I explained it to you there, of course, the little ground that comes off of here that goes on the shielding, it will go under this screw right here. So, let me get this done and we'll be back. All right, here we are. Just gonna go up in there like that. That one there. Just gonna go up in there like that. And 
And that's it. So. Now you know. Now what we still got to do. Is we got to drill those little holes in there. On each of those paddles. So we can get the fiber optics in there. So um, you can do that before you hook it up. That's that's generally what I do. But I wanted to get this hooked in so I could get some other things going. Um, and I can always get the holes punched in it relatively easily. But it would be easier to do it while it's off the thing and you got open space there. So whenever I get that done, we'll be back and I'll show you what, what that is, is going to look like. Okay, we're getting the dial panel ready for uh, for drilling for the fiber optics. I got the fiber optics all right here, cut to length that I that I need. Uh, there's going to be th three. There's going to be six uh, filaments on each side. Six over here. Six over here three paddles two each so I've got the lamps temporarily installed there so I could get an idea of where to drill because I want these filaments on these on these uh, fiber optic uh, filaments to point right directly at the filament of the lamp uh, once we get those in there, we're going to mushy roomy room them a little bit uh, And then we're going to sleeve it with a jacket so that we can put it in the hole and we can uh, Put some adhesive uh, on it to hold it in place So uh, hang on and let me get that done All right, there we are Got the holes drilled in and all kind of things. We got sleeving on the first inch or so. And got that end slightly mushroomed. Same thing over here. We got some adhesive on it. Gotta let that cure up. I don't know, for a while. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna take for that to I hardly ever use it. I got this. I got this Loctite Extreme Glue. Uh, I got it because I couldn't find my go-to glue that I, that anymore. I think they discontinued it. A lot of places to, uh, have withdrawn it from their shelves. So um, I've had to go through and and adapt. So uh, anyway, that's got to let that cure up um, in the meantime we've been going back and forth from the Casbah to the dungeon and um, I'm trying to get uh, two things done in the same amount of time because we've got a finally a decent day it's nice and warm out and um, and sunny no wind and um, we're going to let this cure up and then we're going to mount it up to the chassis and then we're going to do an alignment on that on this radio and uh, I still got to get the I still got to get the uh, inner and outer um, mounts uh, for this thing here made because that one there is broken off and the one over here in the corner is broken off and I could go ahead and glued it but anyway I got I've got template for both of these so we're gonna just take and replace them but we're gonna keep the uh, try to keep the innards uh, in the innards and the outers in the outers so um, Stand by for more if I can get some more today. All 
right. Uh -huh. Okay, we're all set, ready to go. We got the DAW panel on the thing, and uh, all the uh, fiber optics are are in and working. So now, uh, what we're going to do is do uh, the alignment on here. Hopefully, both cameras are working properly. 7B8 converter grid, that would be pin 6, uh, 455, broadcast 600 KC, uh, and we're going to do A, B, C, and D, that is A, B, C, and D. So, um, let's, sorry for the noise. That one, that one, C, D. Okay, let's turn that off for a second so we can think. Okay, now we're going to go to step two and do the RF grid of the 1232. Uh, pin 6, 455, we're going to do E. E is a trap. I don't think it's going to do much of anything because uh, it, it's not required or needed anymore. E is over here, is over here on the side of the cabinet or the side of the uh, of the uh, chassis. Let's get this over here. And we will uh, turn that up. Let's turn it down so we don't scream. Come over here to E. This is going to be adjusted for minimum. There we go. Simple, very simple, very easy. Okay, let's turn that off for a moment. Now we're going to go to the antenna and the ground on this thing and um, okay. now it does it doesn't say that it doesn't say uh, that you got to disconnect the shorting bar uh, and I'm I don't know if you know it's going to make any difference or not. 400 ohm. There we go. There's that. We're hooked in. Um, oh, modulation's on. 400 ohm. 18 megacycles, and we're gonna we're gonna do the short wave. Um, And that is this one out here. We're going to go to 18 megacycles. 18. That's way up the street. Eight. And dialing it in now on the thing. It just takes me a moment. 18 okay so we're up there we gotta climb the stairs every day there it is right there and it's a little off so we're gonna have to chase it a little bit we're gonna do K up here on the top K is this one F is that one We're chasing it right now. I gotta bring it up. Uh, 
That looks good enough for my neck of the woods. Okay, let's shut that off for a second so we can uncross our eyes. We're going to drop to 16 and do the do M on the on the back of the radio. 16. Let's go back. 16, 16, 16. 16, 2, 16, 1. 16. Turn on the noise maker. We're going to drop to 16. We're going to have to chase that one too. M. Okay, let's see. That's it. Turn that noise maker off. Now we're going to drop down to shortwave 1 and go to 4.5 and do Q. 4.5, 4, 3, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. There we go, 0.5. point I said okay so we're gonna flip that up we're gonna go to there we're gonna go to 4.5 we're gonna have to chase that one back and we're gonna do Q Q let's see if I can Get my crackus in here. Okay, let's see if we can do this now. That's going to be close. So, uh, we'll have to check it later. Okay, now we're going to do number six in the list. We're going to go to a point five freak of fracas on the there we go. And let's turn that off for right now. We're going to go to 1500 and do the broadcast band. Dialing in the 1500 setting on the generator. Okay, now I got a feeling my phone, my iPhone 4 is screwing with my because I, I've got it on a I got it on a charger because it was a bit peaked, so I didn't want it to go dead on me. So let's see. There we are. We're going to have to chase it back. We're going to do F. 
which is right here. Plug the iPhone 4 right now and hopefully it will keep running. Uh, we got that on, got this on. Uh, let's see if we get Let's see where I'm at. I lost it somewhere in there. And from Procter and Gamble, maker of a line probiotic, a daily supplement designed by gastroenterologists to help. Can't seem to. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to 16. And dial in our press presenting celebrating life as life on January 30th at 6 p.m. A poetry reading and conversation with poet Simon. Things like how solar works. The okay, had to kill that pretty quick, you know that. Couldn't find it anymore after that, so um, so I just dialed in our local station and did it that way. So we're going to go to 1400 and dropping back, 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 back. Okay, that's it. 1400. Fourteen hundred and G. An emergency link. Hmm. I can't seem to find it here for some reason. So we're going to go to a station and dial in a week station around 1400. And we're going to do G. Try to do G. These two sports writers share a radio show without driving each other crazy from the TireRack.com Fox Sports Radio Studio. Here's the odd couple, Chris Broussard. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, now we got to go to 600 and do J. Let's see if we can get to 600 here. Dialing up 600, 
Okay, 600. And um, we're going to do uh, J. 600. Let's turn that on so we can hear it. Your membership. Smelly. I'm not hearing it. I'm hearing it now. <laughs> okay, there are 600 and we're going to do J. As in Jim. There we go. And uh, we're going to do 1500 F through G again. So we're going to go back to 6 and do 1500. 19, 18, 17. Come on, 15, 15, 15, 15. There we go. Fifteen. We're going to have to chase it. Again. Again. Okay, there's that. Clear our mind here for a second. Okay, 1400 now. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Fourteen hundred. And let's fire the noise maker up again. That is right on. I'm not going to monkey with it. 600. Mm. 560. 80. 90. Jeez. Touchy little suckers. Okay. Go to 600. That is right arm. And then we're going to go to... F and then we're done. So... Let's turn that thing off. Turn that off. Okay, we'll unplug this thing. And that thing. And that thing. So we got everything unplugged from the radio, I hope. That we needed to get undone. Uh, let's see, um, not getting KFYI, I'm not sure what that is. That's a mirror of our...
That is our ESPN affiliate playing a bunch of stuff. We've got to get that antenna uh, That is our uh, talk station out of Prescott Valley. We, this is about the time of day. It's 5 o'clock. So it's about the time of day for some of these outside outcasts, renegades, to come in to tickle our antennas. The Trump groups are the... Supporting him are continuing to hit Haley on immigration and on Social Security. Here's part of one ad on Social Security quoting Haley. We say the rules have changed. We change retirement age to reflect life expectancy. What we, we gotta go up a little bit. And that's just out of the range of that, so let's go to um, the police band or shortwave one. Go back. Mr. Mayfield says, I don't think um, because he Okay, that is... I'm excited to see him. Uh, okay, that is 1.6, that's our local. Let's, uh, let's go to short wave and see if we got anything on the... Th that is with no... That is with no um, external antenna on it. <sighs> so we'll get this place picked up now that we got that. Um, Let's see what else we get here. This. I put that cloth over that thing so it knocked down that screeching noise from the generator. We are getting some things. Let's uh, turn that off so that we don't have to worry about picking up any stray signals. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, that there is probably because of K or M. Let's see if we can minimize that. M? We may have to do a little adjustment to the uh,
yeah, I think that might be something for the, um, let's put this thing over. Over here. Let's, uh, let's break the, uh, yeah, we're like a fricus. Uh, get my external. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna, we're gonna have to dink around with that uh, on this uh, frequency, on this, on this band, uh, to dial, get it dialed in better. So um, anyway, that's it for this mess. We'll get it uploaded, and we'll talk to you again later. By the way, today is Friday, in case you, in case any was wondering, it is Friday uh, the 19th. Uh, we've been off of this thing for like a day or so. We did something, well, the preceding uh, segment, segments, I should say, were done a couple of days ago and then this here we got managed getting this wound up so that we could get a um, so that we could get a uh, a test on it so uh, anyway thanks for watching thanks for hanging in there for such a long time we'll see you later